Hi, and welcome to another episode of Marcus Park Mega Park. It's going to be episode number 21. We're in the Egypt section, and it's going to be a building of another roller coaster. It's going to be a family friendly roller coaster. That's what I'm going to build. And it's going to be called the Desert Camel. As you can see, this is a new area of the park here that uh, we just built up. So, as you can see down there on your bottom right, I got a, a, a big uh, movie theater. It's called Storm Over Egypt. And it's, it shows the, uh, the stormy uh, film. And then right next to it is the area that I already prepped up for uh, the Desert Camel. So yeah, as you can see, I got a Sphinx in there, and plus I got a little bit of a kind of a fake pyramid over there and, and uh, some other little structure here. So what we're going to do, uh, the type of roller coaster this is going to be, is going to be the spinning wild mouse. That uh, way it can do four people at a time. Now I got some ideas for the regular wild mouse, so that has yet to come. So stand by for a future episode of that. But so we're going to start off here, and it, it's not meant to be exciting and fast. It's another family-friendly coaster type of deal, like I did for the Scarab, which was actually the first coaster I built here in the Egypt section. So we'll put that in, get in the um, the pre-built uh, slots that I had for the. Uh, entrance and the exit and I built a little building around the queue already plus I added in some of the um, aesthetics that you already see uh, got a sphinx setting up on a on like a hillside there a little bitty platform whatever and so um, we're gonna get this going for you here and, and see how how we do of course I'm gonna change the color on it too so don't, don't worry about that but uh, so it's not gonna be very high coaster it's not gonna be very big and tall and fast because it's it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be family friendly. So we'll get it up there. Go about eight and make a turn. And then probably this is going to be the biggest hill of the, in the entire coaster. Go down and around. And we're going to take a, a turn, not a sharp turn, just a, a regular turn. And then we'll take another little dip. And then we're going to level out a little bit and wipe out that tree. We'll replace it though. Another turn. Another sharp turn. We're heading right towards the cliff. Oh no! What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to go down and into it. So we go into our, our first tunnel. And we're going to pop out the other side. So i got to make an adjustment to the, um, to the um, sand structure there make a hole so it can get out so it pops out comes screaming out of there and then we make another leisurely turn around as we go around the outside of the, of the sand structure there please they're kind of getting a tour of while they're riding the roller coaster they're getting a tour of the of the area that uh, this uh, ride is being built in so it's got some straightaways another turn then we're going to come up underneath where we went into the, the face of the rock there we go I like that make another turn around there so you did a complete loop around the um, around the, uh, the hill out there and now we're going to head down to the other section here we're going to take a little dip and then back up again and here's another little area that uh, the guy looks like a mini pyramid. It's not really. It's just built up. But we're going to make some modifications to it. I just wanted to get a start for you. So get up there and go around it. I'm going to take a sharp turn. And then we're going to hit a chain lift. This one's not quite as high. Only up to level 5. Looks like we're going to go crashing into the Sphinx. I just wanted to fix a piece that I noticed I didn't get there. Fix that one. And we turn. We're going to take a little ride around the Sphinx. Take another little dip, get us some more speed. Another little dip, and then a 
a sharp turn. Then we're going to go down two levels to get us up some speed. So we can bounce back up, flatten out. Take a sharp turn and we're going into the mountain. That'd be our second tunnel. Come out that side right there. A little straight away. Yeah, sharp turn. Down. Cutting back around here. And we're going to do a little zigzag pattern in and out of this area here. Uh, heading as we head back into the station. This is mainly just to uh, burn off speed. It's going to be too much because it's going to be in the path of the uh, incoming back into the station so we have to make it a, a half a turn then a sharp turn we're gonna go take another dip and we're gonna pop back up to level level off we're gonna make us a sharp turn and then we got a straightaway track coming right into the station there you have it now we're going to test it and then we're going to change the color of it of course it's going to be Egyptian style music wooden entrance because it seems to fit with the area. Change the colors of the car. And when it gets up to the top of the second hill, that's a that's a slow roll that kind of just goes around the uh, the Sphinx there is to uh, kind of give them a view of the area of the park and they get to see the Sphinx up close before it starts on its uh, final journey back to the station. It's not going too fast, it's not going too slow. When it hits the station it's hitting it at about 19 miles an hour which is a, a safe speed coming into the uh, coming into the station we we'll make the track I think the track is going to be a yellow and black with the green with the green supports there's our stats we're going to see maximum speed is 30 average speed 11 a minute 32 ride length is 1932 feet it's a pretty long ride no, it's got less than one second for air time. But there are a total of 10 drops. That's kind of cool. A lot of my big coasters don't have more than 10 or 12 drops, so. What to name it? What to name it? And we're thinking about that right now. There's the excitement rating. It's a 3.4. Intensity 3.5, nausea 2.9. It's all on the medium scale, which that's not too bad. Then of course it'll change just a little bit uh, when you get the riders on it, because the, the cars will go probably a little bit faster in some areas than others because of the weight of the uh, weight of the riders. So we're going to call this roller coaster the Desert Camel. It's not too awful bad. Give you a, a look at uh, one of the rides as it goes around. Looking good. 
and we're going to do just a little more aesthetic on it. And we're going to clean it up, make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. We had to remove that tree, but we'll, we'll replace that tree. Not, a, not an issue. Looking, looking nice, looking a lot nicer. Doing pretty good. We're going to be uh, opening it up here for business here real soon. Uh, put in some. Uh, different colored uh, fencing there, not fencing, but uh, where the, the ground comes up. Placing some trees, put throwing a few more trees here. Making it look nice. If you are enjoying the com um, content there, please uh, like and subscribe, and also all comments are welcome. I've gotten a few. Thanks. I do appreciate that, guys. I do appreciate that. So uh, keep it up. Keep watching, and catch up with me on the next episode. So I'm going to say goodbye now, but I'll let it go. It's got about another 30 seconds or so before this video is over, but I'll say see you around till next time. Bye-bye.